tradition, en fait, sur la lutte contre le Covid-19 euh, par les gels hydroalcooliques. Voilà, je, je commencerai mes propos par tout d'abord remercier les initiateurs de ce projet. Euh, voilà, nous avons en face de nous des jeunes très dynamiques, en fait, euh, qui nous ont montré la voie, en fait, euh, pour le développement. Vous avez sans doute montré euh, au président de la République que euh, ce rêve peut devenir une réalité. Donc, nous vous en remercions vivement dans ces moments de confinement où vous avez donné l'opportunité aux élèves qui sont restés ces jeunes, en fait, de bénéficier des cours, de ces, de, de ces cours qui sont si importants. Voilà, good morning, dear student. So, uh, Uh, I am here today to propose you a grammar lesson about what we call reported, reported speech. Direct speech. So, we first, I mean, I try to deal our lesson with a kind of, first of all, a kind of, a kind of context, okay? For example, in sentence number one, I say, I saw Dr. Sisse yesterday. And I'm lost. I mean, sentence number one. I have here. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? He asked me. He asked me. Now. We try together, I mean, uh, to set out this context. So here, I saw Dr. Said yesterday. Here, I mean, uh, we have, he said that, he said that, You had seen Dr. C.D. Sadie the day, the day before. Coronavirus is a dangerous illness. Dr. C.D. said, we have here, Dr. C.D. said that, Dr. C.D. said that, Coronavirus is a dangerous illness. 
coronavirus is a dangerous illness. And at last, do you speak English? He asked me. So here we have E asked me. He asked me if I spoke English. If I spoke English. Now, so we try to do our, I mean, our new grammar lesson in this three point. Okay, so in this context, sentence number one, sentence number two, and sentence number number three. So first of all, when the main verb is in the simple, I mean, when the reported verb is in the simple past, when the reported verb is in the simple past. So, when the reported verb is in the simple past, everything will change. We can say, when the reported verb is in the simple past, when the reported verb is in the simple past, when the reported verb is in the simple past, everything will change. Everything will change. Everything will change. So it means the time will change. The time will change. The date will change. The expression of time also will change. Expression of time, etc. Okay? So, now, first of all, we have to deal with the simple present. The simple present, the simple present will become simple past. The simple present will become simple past. For example, if I say I drink coffee at break time, at break time, he said. So here it will done. He said that he drank coffee at break time. He said that he drank coffee at break time. He drank coffee at break time. He drank coffee at break time. You see that here? I mean, uh, the simple present, I mean, uh, become simple, simple past. Okay? So, now, uh, the present continuous will become what we call past continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous will become past continuous will become past continuous. For example, if I say I am watching I am watching I am watching M Major TV M Major TV now I said for example Nogai set. Nogai set. Okay. Here we have to say Nogai said that she was Nogai 
said that she was watching Emma Major TV. She was watching Emma Major TV. Emma Major TV. Okay, so I mean the simple past will become past perfect. Simple past will become past perfect. Simple past will become past perfect. For example, if I say Liverpool won its match, Liverpool Liverpool won its match its match versus Manchester last week last week okay so here we say he said so here we have he said that he said that Liverpool had won its march had won its march Liverpool had won its match versus Manchester Manchester the week before the week before okay so we have also present perfect will become past perfect present perfect which will become past perfect present perfect will become past perfect past perfect okay so for example if i say i have been to dakar i have been to dakar DJ Box Junior told me. DJ Box Junior told me. So here we have to say DJ Box Junior told me that. Told me that he, he had been to, to Dakar. Okay? Told me that he had been to Dakar. He had been to to Dakar. Okay? So now past continuous will become past continuous will become what we call past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous. For example, if I say we were living, we we were living. I mean, uh, we were living. We were living in, for example. Paris. So they told me. They told me. So here you have to say they told me that they told me that they told me that. So 
they had been living in Paris. They had. They had been living in Paris. They had been living in Paris. Now, so we have also the future which will, will become what we call the present conditional future, which will become the present condition. The future which will become the present conditional. So, for example, if I say I will be in Luga on Monday. I will be in Luga on Monday. Mr. Sal said. Mr. Sal said. So here we have to say that Mr. Sal said that. Mr. Sal said that he would be in Luga. He would be in Luga. He would be in Luga on Monday. On Monday. So, this is what we call, in sum up, I mean, uh, uh, the different tenses we have to give you. So, there are other tenses, but I mean the time will not, I mean, make I has to, to give all the tenses. So, here, when the reported verb is in the simple past. Now, we have to deal with the second point, when the reported verb, I mean, is in the simple present. So, second point, when, when the reported verb, when the reported verb is in the simple present. When the reported verb is in the simple present. Okay? So, when the reported verb is in the simple present, we can say when the reported verb is in the simple present, when the reported verb is in the simple present, is in the simple present, okay, oh, I mean, uh, if the original statement if the original statement is was about i mean was about something that is true was about something that is true was about something that is true so here in this case you don't need to change the time okay you don't need to change the time you don't need to change the time you don't need to change the time for example if i say he has missed dj books in your prestations okay example number one he has missed it. He has missed DJ Books Junior Prestation. He says, okay, so here you have to be careful. The reported verb is in the simple present. He says, instead of he said. Okay, he says. Now here we have to say, he says that. 
he says that he has missed he has missed DJ Books Junior prestations prestation so here's that's it now we have all, I mean also I mean uh, oh if the original statement was about something that is true for example we say in the context I mean uh, coronavirus is a dangerous illness okay here it is a, a general truth coronavirus is a dangerous illness coronavirus is a dangerous illness doctor said this said coronavirus is a dangerous illness is a dangerous illness doctor said this said so here we have to say that Dr. Saidi said that Dr. Saidi said that coronavirus is a dangerous illness coronavirus is a dangerous illness so here a student will ask me why don't we change the time i give them another example because here we have what we call a general truth for example i say god is one he said god is one he said so here you have to say only he said that god is one okay so he said that god is one he said that god is one the sun rises in the east he said that the sun rises in the east because we have something i i mean statements which i mean which was something about that is true okay so that's why here you don't need to change the time it's the same if we say the sun rises in the sea in the east he says that the sun rises in the east ça veut dire le soleil se lève à l'est c'est une vérité générale là vous n'avez pas besoin de changer le le temps now at last we have to deal with what we call reporting others reporting others reporting others or or questions for example if i say do you speak english do you speak english he asked me do you speak english he asked me he asked me now here we have to say he asked me he asked me if i spoke english if i spoke english okay so now at last we have to deal with what we call changing time and place replacement okay changing time and place replacement changing time and place replacement changing time and place referring things okay i mean okay so referring things now here i will see you here tomorrow i will see you i will see you here tomorrow 
I will see you here tomorrow. I will see you here tomorrow. She said. Now here it will done. She said that. She said that. She would. She would see you. She would see you. Here we will done there. She would see you there the next day. Okay, the next day. The next day. Okay? And this sentence, I mean this example, will, uh, I mean, permit has to give you the blackboard of, I mean, uh, time expressions. Okay? So, for example here, if we have today, if we have today, it will change by what we call that day. Today, that day. Yesterday, yesterday, it will done, I mean, the day before. The day before. The, I mean, the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday will become what we call, I mean, two days before, two days before, two days before. So tomorrow will done tomorrow will done in two days time in two days time in two days today I'm sorry today will become I mean uh, will done the next or the following day the next or the following day the next or the following day so the day after tomorrow the day after tomorrow the day after tomorrow we'll done what we call I mean, uh, in two days time, in two days time, in uh, two days time. And at last we have here, we should done there, this, that, etc. So that's what I mean, uh, we would like to propose you. So, and, uh, and I hope that you have understood what we call, I mean, uh, this grammar point. Even if there are what we call some kind of, some kind of mistake, if it is the case, I mean, we are sorry for that. But you have to know that this grammar point, whether you are in first form or in upper sixth form, it always, I mean, often, I mean, uh, this grammar point used to come on BFM exam or in, on BAT exam. So, uh, and so we, uh, I am, I'm sorry. So it may be, I mean, it may have some mistake, but I'm sorry for that. So uh, I think that you, you will, you will, I mean, uh, try to achieve some, some kind of, I mean, uh, I mean, a uh, uh, strong point for this grammar, for this grammar point, which was about, I mean, reported speech. Okay. Thank you, and uh, thank you also uh, this, uh, I mean, uh, courage man who are here to do their job i mean uh, correctly thank you again